do not regret speaking out. I never will regret speaking out. It's not a burden. It's no more my responsibility than it is any other human being's responsibility to be there and support other human beings. I took on that not for my own mental health, not because I saw that it would start any kind of movement, but because I saw it as a fundamental injustice. Predators thrive in silence. Our best learning resource is history. When you erase history, when you silence history, you enable evil. Do I think things have changed? Yes, and that is evidenced in the normalisation of the conversation around child sexual abuse. It's evidenced by the fact that myself, a survivor of child sexual abuse, was named an Australian of the Year. Uh, that is hugely symbolic of progress. But that said, there's so much work yet to be done. At the moment, we're in a phase of mass disclosure because there was silence for so long now Lots and lots of people across the country, across the world are coming forward and sharing their stories. What we need to do next though is harness all of the information that comes from that mass sharing and apply it to reformed education strategies and legislation to prevent future cases so that we can actually eradicate this issue. And oddly enough, <laughs> I'm working to the end of actually making my role uh, obsolete because I hope we can prevent child sexual abuse from ever happening again. So therefore I won't need to be an advocate.